Today's Q-tip request is how to line up a plant shot and it comes from Lukester underscore 147. They've got two reds here, you can clearly see they're not lined up to this corner pocket. So what you do here, you imagine the first red is the cue ball. So as if you're going to pull that other red, you come round, see where the pot angle, just in case, imagine that first red is the cue ball, you're going to pull the red in the corner, so get that potting point on the red, keep your eye on that, and come back and play the shot. All the time keeping your eye on that potting point, then you will get a high percentage of those plants. Q-tip request today comes from Zayad Zahi, and it's the two cushion escape. To come off two cushions with a cue ball, clip the red, half ball, quarter ball, and hopefully bring the cue ball back down to the ball end. Now the reason we're playing it this way rather than one cushion slowly into the pack is we've got a loose red in between the bunch and the black, so we can leave that red if we play the slow shot. So. We need to play a two cushion escape, we're playing off the side cushion with some left hand side, running side, second cushion, clip that red that's just next to the pink, bring the cue ball back at the table. Clip the red, half ball, I mean look at this, that's genius. Q-tip request today comes from Dylan underscore Doyle 44 and it's for the stun run through. Now when would you play a stun run through shot? Well, we've set up an example here. We're straight in the blue to the green pocket, the black's out of commission. We need to get position on the yellow to clear up the table. Now the reason you play a stun run through shot here is if you could play the blue in dead weight and follow through, but it's not a very good shot to play. You've not really got control of the cue ball. The professional way of playing this is a stun run through. So what that does, it enables you to hit the cue ball positively and with, with a bit of pace and control the cue ball so after pot the blue, the cue ball will follow through a couple of feet and be perfect on the yellow. You need obviously good straight cueing, keep very still, centre striking on the cue ball. Stand run through, a couple of feet, perfect on the yellow, clear up and win the frame. Q-tip request comes from Ryan Fenrich 97 and it's about putting unwanted side on the cue ball when you're playing screw shots. Now, the reason you do this is because when you play a screw shot you're hitting it harder. A screw shot you're hitting harder than any other shot on the table really. Um, and that's why you, you lose control of the cue because you put so much power into it. So the principles are you've got to keep your head as still as possible because as soon as any deviant demons on your head then the cue will move and it will go to the side. Also cue smoothly. Try and keep nice, straight waggles with your cue, nice loose grip, keep very still. And that should make you stop with the wanted set of the cue ball.